Roll Tide Cheyenne. Congratulations on your win two weeks ago at the Dow Great Lakes Bay Invitational. How's everything going? Yeah, Roll Tide, first of all. Uh, good. Thank you for having me. Um, yeah, I love my time at Alabama and uh, play professional golf now on the LPGA. So, yeah, it's been a great ride. One, two weeks ago, um, it's been an amazing journey. Yeah, two weeks ago, your victory really sparked a slew of victories we've had. Uh, Lee Hodges picked up a win on the PGA Tour. Uh, David Shore won on the Canadian Tour. Uh, you got to be thrilled about their success right now. And again, you got it started at the Dell. Yeah, um, I think we should just keep it rolling. Uh, yeah, I was at um, Alabama at the time. Lee and Davis were there, so it's awesome to follow everyone's success, including Davis Riley and um, other girls that played at Alabama that are out on the LPGA with me now or uh, trying to make it on the Epson tour. So it's really cool to just see everyone's success and just how well everyone's been doing. Well, let's go back to a couple of weeks ago. Uh, you're partnered up with Elizabeth Zokel. It's the only team event uh, on the LPGA calendar. Uh, what went into making that a really special week for you both? Yeah, you know, haven't been on a team since uh, my Alabama days. And me and Elizabeth are best friends. Uh, she went to the University of Virginia and just won – I don't know. We're uh, we have different personalities, but just are really great friends and practice a lot together, play a lot of practice rounds. So we both know each other's game pretty well. And she hits a far. Um, I'm kind of more average off the tee. And so we kind of we play really well in alternate shot. And I just think like we're we just have such a great time playing with each other and just knowing each other's game. Uh, so it was just like so much fun. And it's a very unique format, like what you said. Uh, we don't get to do that often. And golf's an individual sport and you're out there by yourself a lot so it was nice to you know have my best friend walking around with me uh, in terms of your game what was working best for you what were some of the best clubs that were in the bag over that week yeah I think uh where we play in Midland uh the course is really tight so you definitely have to keep the ball in the fairway um so I would probably say my driver was um probably one of the best clubs in my bag that week just putting Elizabeth in good spots and uh, me and Elizabeth both made a lot of putts and on the course you have a lot of um, short holes so just like my wedges were also really good this week uh, sorry two weeks ago and just gave Elizabeth a lot of I don't know realistic birdie opportunities uh, the first few days and yeah I think and we shot you know we needed we know we knew we needed to get into the 20s to win so um, shooting that under par um, is fun and you make a lot of birdies so that was probably what was kind of working best for us. And it certainly was tight down the stretch as well. Was it fun again to go with your teammate uh, into some of those tough holes near the end and find a way to close it out? Yeah, I think I, I've been in contention a little bit this year. So just like kind of handling the nerves and the pressure is uh, something that you learn just every week and just how you handle yourself and um, yeah, just kind of make the, make the most of your opportunity that you have. Um, so yeah, just having Elizabeth there, we tried to keep it light, uh, even though we knew kind of the situation that we were in, but um, it's just more of kind of like an aggressive format, you know, you need to make birdies. So having two people trying to make a birdie and um, kind of extend our lead or um, I don't know, it was very helpful. It kind of takes some pressure off in a way because you have someone else that uh, you're both trying to do the same thing uh, for your team. So yeah, it was stressful coming down the stretch up until the last hole, but happy we got it done. Happy you got it done. And also probably happy that a fellow Alabama golf alum was in contention. Uh, Emma Talley also in the top five, what it mean to get to see her. She was one of the first people on the green to congratulate you. Oh, yeah. Uh, Emma was a senior when I was a freshman and um, really great friend. And I was happy to see her play well. Um, and Polly played well as played well too um we played with her on friday and so it was, it's great to see the alabama girls play well and really special that emma was there to congratulate me and dump some dump some water champagne on me um but yeah it's great to see the girls just play well um in the professional ranks so you pick up that victory but really not that much time to celebrate because right after that you're off to europe uh, to play in some tournaments uh, has it been a whirlwind over the last two weeks it has i think this is just the big chunk of the season um we have our last major championship um uh, next week i'm in scotland right now for the scottish open and then the british open is next week and yeah last week was a major in france so it's just been just kind of a whirlwind straight from michigan to come to france and play so it's just been a lot like going on so hopefully just kind of finish out this stretch and i'll go home for a few weeks and maybe try to 
soak it in a little bit more. Um, but I mean, Elizabeth was in France with me, so we got to go out to dinner and just kind of reminisce and kind of take it in a little bit. Um, but yeah, looking forward to going home and seeing my family and just kind of, yeah, just soaking it in a little bit more because this is kind of the end of our big chunk, uh, a lot of majors. We played Pebble last month and um, yeah, kind of, and then the season gets a little bit easier after this. So just trying to end it on a good note. We certainly look forward to that. And uh, even going back to your Alabama days, just how much is the teaching you were able to receive there, Mick and Susan, how have that really helped prepare you to play professional golf to the level you're playing at along with some of your former teammates? Right. You know, when I was recruited by Mick, um, I wasn't good enough at first in high school, um, but I knew I wanted to go to Alabama. I wanted to be on a competitive team and I wanted the chance to win a national championship. And so I wanted to go somewhere that could push me as a person and a player um, just to get better. And I didn't know how much I was going to contribute my freshman year and ended up winning national freshman of the year. And I think something that Mick and Susan really instilled in me. And even now, um, like I just have to play shy and night golf and just be who I am. Like I'm around a lot of great players, but like, I can't be them. All I can do is just be myself and how I play golf. I don't need to be anyone else and just kind of perfect what I do and do it the best that I can. And yeah, I don't think professional golf was on my radar until I went to Alabama and just under that guidance of Mick and Susan and my teammates um, that really pushed me. Uh, and I really saw like kind of the potential I could have. And uh, yeah, I think Mick and Susan saw that in me and just knew that what they needed to do to guide me and just like be confident in myself and my abilities um, would help me in professional golf. And I kind of, you know, you lose sight of that sometimes when things aren't going well, you want to reinvent the wheel but you don't need to reinvent the wheel maybe just take a step back and look look at it from a little bit of a different perspective but I got to see Mick a few weeks ago um in June at Liberty National and it was great to catch up with him and just I think they're gonna have a great year next year uh they have Caitlin Schroeder coming in um she's really great player like really nice girl so I'm excited for them and I hope that they can win SECs and national championship next year yeah, how much do you enjoy connecting with the current players that are on this team and kind of telling them about your experience in Alabama and uh, what could be ahead for them in their own games? Yeah, it's it makes me feel old. Um, <laughs> I uh, My last year was 2018, but it's really cool to see the girls come out. Like Polly, I played with her two weeks ago and she transferred to Alabama, but um, I just, I didn't know where I was not on the team with her, but just to kind of connect with her um, out here is really cool. Just a full circle moment. Um, you know, we all, I feel like dreamed of going to Alabama and playing golf. And now we're, you dream of playing professional golf on the LPGA and just seeing the girls out here. Um, but it's really cool to just kind of reminisce. And um, yeah, I feel like at tournaments, we look and see how the girls are doing and, um, yeah. And Mick and Susan like Texas, good luck. And just having the support um, from them is really cool. And just seeing all the, I mean, I have the Alabama a on my golf bag and just hearing random people from across the world, notice that and kind of yell roll tide um, is really cool. And just kind of seeing all the script days that are out here on all the golf bags. It's just, um, yeah, just really cool. You know, that um, it's a big alumni out here. Absolutely. That's certainly good to see. And of course, uh, Alabama fans are going to be cheering you on over the next few weeks. If you could just kind of run down the schedule and what's next for Cheyenne Knight. Yeah, this week, uh, Scottish Open. Next week, uh, the week after that is the British Open, our final major of the year. And then I have a few weeks off. I'll play in Canada um, and then Cincinnati. And then um, we'll see if I make the Solheim Cup. I would love the opportunity to represent my country. So, you know, just but just got to keep doing what I need to do every day to play well, and that can take care of itself. And then after that, um, we'll see if I make Solheim and then play Arkansas and Dallas, kind of the closest spots we get to Alabama and then play in Malaysia. And then we'll finish off the year in Florida. And then the year's kind of done after that, but football season. So I'm excited to get to watch some football. Uh, not much going on in the summer right now. So, but yeah, so just, um, yeah, it's been a long year, but uh, hopefully finish it, finish it off well and kind of keep the Alabama train going of people in the winter circle. We certainly would love to see that. Well, Cheyenne, congratulations on your win on the LPGA tour a couple weeks ago. And thank you for your time today. Best of luck with that busy schedule you have coming up. But uh, thank you for everything you've done for Alabama women's golf. And we look forward to chatting with you again down the road. Roll Tide. 
Thank you. Thanks for having me. Roll Tide.